cool. So I'm gonna show you how to create a Google Ads full campaign, projections for financials, and something that you can actually present to either your executive team or to clients in 10 minutes or less. And we're gonna do it 100% within ChatGPT and some basic prompt design. So, hope it's useful. Let's start right out. So in this hypothetical example, we are talking about iPhone cases and we're going to be using a Skag design for the account build. So as I dive into this first prompt, I'm asking it for themed keywords. So it's gonna break it up into product, brand, feature, need, transactional. This is a good way to look at it. And we're going to basically refine in the next prompt by asking around um, exact match commercial intent keywords because we're focused on revenue, right? Totally makes sense. And then you're gonna see me scroll through here. Um, basically, I just needed to adjust the way I was prompting the AI so I could get the data to come through a little bit cleaner. I think I would, if I wasn't rushed here, because uh, I wanted to keep this to 15 minutes or less for just the prep for this, is that I would get this data a bit cleaner, but this is what we got. So you can easily create the ad groups just on copy and pasting these individual ones or copy and pasting all of this and asking it to refine it in a way that's more copy paste friendly, right? Um, or if you were using, you know, Google Ads, like Power Editor um, to bulk import things in. But anyway, this is what we've got. So as we're moving through, I asked it to design me a Google Ads campaign structure using the SCAG format and use enabled plugins to feed, uh, to visualize this if needed. So it used the show me visualize plugin. So this basically creates a map and I'm not gonna open this because the viewport on this recording is really meant for mobile, but at any rate, it basically broke out the campaign here and then these were the ad groups and then each ad group has a single keyword that's associated with it. You could also do this for themed keywords. Um, this would really just be an accompanying visual that you could put into a slide deck, right? Um, so that you don't have to build it yourself. And this gives um, some basic descriptions. Again, this would just be for building a slide. So you don't have to worry about this if you wouldn't be presenting this to someone, but this is a really helpful uh, visualizer plugin. Um, there's also some others that uh, I might test in the future for another video. Anyway, this is uh, another really interesting um, prompt that I use, which is writing responsive search ads in the voice of famous copywriters. So, you know, of course, with responsive search ads, they can get um, pretty generic if you're writing them all the time and it's very easy as a copywriter to essentially end up in this position where you're writing ads every day, but they all sound the same because you're only one person, right? So you can get a lot of inspiration and a lot of different ideas by using ChatGPT. Um, you can also pipe in your own responsive search ads and basically say, hey, can you take what I've developed here that performs at this rate and write it more in the style of like David Ogilvy, for example. And at any rate, this is what it comes up with. It, decided to choose Steve Jobs and David Ogilvy, which I think makes sense. Um, I don't really think that it did Steve Jobs justice, right? He's got um, a lot of different copy style, but you know, I think in terms of David Ogilvy, it was closer. Um, it's talking more about the person and you know things that they might be concerned about, uh, especially in regards to like cheap iPhone cases, right? So as we continue to move in here, um, we're talking about landing page URLs. So if you're thinking about this in terms of a structured campaign, right? We've started at the campaign level. We started at thinking about what piece of the iPhone case market that we wanna try and sell to for our products. And then we've moved into the ad groups, which are all based on single keywords. And then based on those single keywords, we've chosen two ad groups that we wanna really go at. And then based on those two ad groups, those two keywords, we wanna have two specific landing pages that are matched up against those exact types of searchers. So we've really already in four and a half minutes refined things completely down to a very specific tailored keyword matched landing page level. So 
Then I ask it to, based on the above, develop financial projections of what cost for acquisition could be against estimated volume of the selected keywords, performance of the ads, conversion rate of the landing pages. And I ask it to use assumptions. And it tried to use Wolfram Alpha here. I was curious as to see if it would utilize this plugin to pull some real life data. Um, it wasn't able to, pr uh, to produce any of the average cost per clicks for the um, keywords in this you know, day and age but it did proceed with some basic assumptions to develop this projection. And you know, as the long story short is none of this was too correct, um, but what's the nice part about this is that it does the math all perfectly, right? So what I did is then I piped in example numbers. You know, What if we had some initial data, maybe we had gone to market, on another channel like Facebook, Instagram, we knew that our average order values were $53. And you know, maybe we knew some data on a competitor that was beating us in, in monthly revenue because they were already in market and search. And we knew that they were getting, you know, maybe we used a platform like SpyFu to understand that their market costs were at 57 cents per click. And we already know that our own landing pages convert at 6% if the audience is good, right? So then I just ask it to redo the numbers to consider that return on investment and to consider this additional data, right? And, you know, I think like obviously iPhone cases are way more popular than these numbers, but for the sake of just this exploration, we can, you know, kind of assume based on this that this is the market share that we're looking at. So as we're looking through and this click through rate, we would probably want to adjust, but it does all of the math for you. And this is the insane part, right? This would normally take hours of your time to develop for clients because people always wanna see you know, the nitty gritty. They wanna see how you're going to get to the results that you're promising. They always want to um, understand, like, like anybody would, right? They're investing thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in working with you and they wanna see what they're getting for that money, right? So this is essentially saying that the return on investment is going to be four and a half X or four and 0.8 X. Um, if you're able to hit these other numbers, 6% conversion rate, 2% CTR, 57 cents, you know, cost per click. Right. And if you're able to hit all those numbers, you're going to almost get a five X ROI, which almost anybody out there is going to be happy with, especially for a, a direct consumer product, like a iPhone case. So the next thing that I think is really fascinating, and I think this is kind of the piece de resistance in terms of you know, bringing this whole prompt design together is because this is a conversation with ChatGPT, I can then ask it to fold every single one of the components into a clean, cohesive, three-month go-to-market strategy that you can then present to clients and stakeholders. So I like to give it some boundaries as well. So I wrote thinking one to two pages in length, and stay concise, but not brief. And I think that's important because if you ask it to be too concise, it's gonna leave out information that's gonna be useful for people and that they're gonna have questions about. And if they have questions about it, they're gonna ask you, right? So this is what it came up with. It came up with a great executive summary of what we're looking to achieve here. You might adjust these, but this is already an excellent framework. I've seen a lot of executive summaries in my time that look exactly like this. And I guarantee this was before ChatGPT. So the fact that it can come up with these things is excellent and it saves just so much time. And it immediately comes up with a three month go to market strategy, right? That we gave it. So month one, you know, this looks a lot similar to what you might do for really any, anyone, whether it's an internal client or an external client. And so it's going to start with a campaign setup and launch where we're going to be doing the keyword research, which we've already done, the ad creation, which we've already done, and landing page optimization, which we'd need to add in, right? And then the actual campaign launch. Month two, we do monitoring optimization. This totally makes sense. A lot of the times you have a huge launch that you do in month one, and then the following six to eight weeks are all about performance monitoring, cutting out losers, and uh, optimizing your campaigns, your product pages, you know, where people are dropping off, checkout, et cetera. And then month three, you know, assuming everything's going well, you want to evaluate the performance and you want to look for market expansion opportunities. And all of this just fully makes sense. It's completely logical. It's 
built into three really clean steps. And a 90 day plan is usually what people are going to be happy with. Right. And you could, you could definitely break this out into, you know, if someone's doing a 30 day trial with you, right. You could ask ChatGPT to say, Hey, can you make this a 30 day plan? And then it would break it out into, you know, week one, you're doing this week two, you're doing this week three, you're doing this week four, you're doing this. And then the nice thing is that it wraps this all into the bow of financial projections, which is you kind of end with the most exciting part for people, which is what you're going to get out of the money that you're putting in. So it ends with that, you know, 5x return on investment. And then we have that conclusion that the three month go to market strategy, which I totally agree with, provides a clear roadmap for capturing a significant share of the case market. And look at that. In 10 minutes, we've come up with a full go-to-market strategy for a area that I've never sold anything in. Uh, but I will say that, you know, this is pretty, this makes sense to me. Um, I've sold for a lot of different D2C brands and companies, especially in electronics. And the ad design, the ad group design, the keyword selection, all this makes sense. You know, I think on the landing page side, there's more that would technically be done there if you were actually going to go and launch this. But this is already an excellent framework. I hope you get value out of this. Let me know if you have any questions or if you're trying this on your own as well. And I'll see you in the next video.